Okay, once upon a time, I believed that a person should only wear a team jersey for a team that they were on. That's what I thought. And at the time, I wasn't on a team. So I had a lot of jerseys, but they were from maybe a ride that I did, but mostly they were jerseys I bought in the bike shop that didn't have anybody's logo on them because I was snooty that way. And then I read a book. I read a book called Two Wheels by Greg Moody. This book is a bicycle murder mystery. And uh, it was fun. It was a really fun book. I mean, I don't think it was a book that I'm going to say was the, you know, the great American novel or, you know, a classic or something, but it was a fun book. And then he wrote another book called Perfect Circles. And then he wrote another book called Derailleur. And then he wrote another book and so on. He's written several now. He's written, I don't know, five or six books. And they're all bicycle murder mysteries, which is really cool. So I read these books. And uh, at least the first three of them I read and thought they were really cool. And then I was hunting through a catalog, some catalog, probably the Velo Press catalog. See, well, that's probably it. Anyway, and I saw this jersey and I had to have it because this jersey is the jersey that the character who was on a fictional bicycle racing team in the Tour de France, this is the jersey that that guy wore in the book by Greg Moody, which it was just cool. I mean, really? I mean, okay. If you're a nerd, as you've probably figured out, I am. And so you read and then you see your jersey from the book. That, I mean, wow. That was so cool. So I bought it. But not only was it cool. I mean, okay, here's the thing. The jersey, the team was sponsored by Haven Pharmaceuticals. So it's a pharmaceutical company that makes doping stuff. And these guys were doping like crazy. It was really something. I mean, there were all sorts of doping problems all through the tour because it sort of mirrors reality. But the irony was that this team that's doping is sponsored by a pharmaceutical company. Everybody's like, yeah, what's the big deal, right? So, um, <laughs> and anyway, so the team was sponsored by Colnago. And the team was sponsored by Campagnolo. And so they got the permission, Bellow Press or Greg Moody or whoever, and they got the permission of the sponsors who were sponsoring the fictional team. They got their permission to get their logos on the jersey to make a team jersey totally fictional, and you had to read the book to get it. So there you go. See you next time.